Myelolandic epilepsy is an epilepsy that, ar that starts in childhood. The child often presents for the first time having had a seizure in the middle of the night, which is really scary for parents, and the child will wake out of sleep, often soon after going to sleep or soon before it's time to get up, with this horrible gurgling, guttural noise, drooling, being disoriented. So benign Rolandic epilepsy is a syndrome. It has a, it's how it presents clinically and what the EEG looks like. So the EEG starts, it, the seizure starts in one area of the brain and spreads. So when I look at the EEG, I can see it, it has a special funny look on the EEG that tells me it's benign Rolandic. But as you mentioned, these typically happen out of sleep early in the morning, scare the daylights out of the parents with that gurgling sound. Right, so we call that the semiology of the seizure, and they, they're very commonly, they present in the same way. They can be treated very easily. We decide about whether or not to treat them with medication based on what the EEG findings are, how often there's abnormalities on the EEG, whether the child is doing poorly in school, and of course, how many seizures they have, as well as how old the child is. What's so interesting is that a lot of these kids are triggered by sleep deprivation. Right. The parents don't get them to bed early, they're up really late, they are overtired, and that's when the seizures come out. So many of these kids, we don't even have to treat with medication because if we they just, get sleep, we they're We just make sure they fine. get enough sleep. Now the problem with that is that a lot of these kids end up being restricted from sleepovers where they're staying up till two in the morning. Um, parents who have weddings and the kids are up late, they feel like they can't take the children to it to the wedding, so they, you know, they miss out on some social opportunities. There's also an incidence, a bigger than what we thought, we describe it as benign Rolandic epilepsy, but actually the latest literature and the latest research shows that it may not be so benign, that these children who are having a lot of abnormalities in their brains and sleep may be having more school and academic problems than we initially thought. So it's very important to speak to your neurologist about not only the seizures, but how we're doing in school, what the learning is like, and what the attention is like. Because even though they might not be clinically having seizures and on no medication, it might be affecting the learning. Their school and, the, and their, the acquisition of knowledge, the memory that takes place during sleep at night. So benign Rolandic epilepsy might not be that benign. It's a seizures that usually happen late at night caused by sleep deprivation. You may or may not need medication. You can discuss that with your neurologist. But check out what's going on in school because that's an important part of the whole picture. And these kids are prime candidates for having a real neuropsychological evaluation which tests for learning disabilities, attentional issues, and memory, and to really keep on top of them and make sure that nothing is happening that we can't prevent with medication.